Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this driver tip, I'm talking about your arms. All right, so a lot of, you know, creating this effortless type of golf swing, you know, depends on you turning your arms off. So we're not using our arms to hit the golf ball. We're using our body. So this tip is about trying to understand where you actually tighten your arms. So if you don't know where you're tightening them, there's going to be a problem because you're not going to be able to turn them off. So let's take a look at some areas of where you could potentially be tightening your arms. Then you can check your own golf swing, find out where you're tightening them, then try to keep them relaxed at that point. All right, so once you do that, then you'll be able to develop this powerful, effortless, and pain-free golf swing. All right, hopefully you like this one. If you do, click on the like button, click on to the button to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, a lot of clicking going on. <laughs> but if you click on the bell, you'll be notified when I post these new tips. And also, tell all your friends about my tips. There's a lot of people out there that would like to build this effortless golf swing as well. So if you tell them about it, we can help them too. In order to build an effortless golf swing, we have to find out where our arms are tightening in our golf swing. So effortless golf swing means you are not trying to hit or help with your arms. So we have to recognize where they are tightening. So there are numerous places you can be tightening your arms. All right, so let's try to figure out where you are tightening so then you can be aware of that, so then you don't tighten them as you go back and even in the down and through swing. All right, so first area that you would potentially tighten is just at setup, you know? So a lot of people set up to the ball and they're all locked up. So if you're all locked up right here, you're already tight, okay? So how are you going to do an effortless golf swing if you're already locked up? You know, so that's one area right there. So when I set up to the golf ball, my arms are extended, but they're not locked up. Like I'm, I'm sensing the muscles in my arms and I'm not, you know, activating them. I can extend my arm without it being locked up. So we want our arms extended, but not tight. All right. So you might have to reduce your grip pressure a little bit in the beginning too, but don't, you know, don't be so loose that your grip starts falling out of position. Like when I start, I am literally two out of 10, but my hands are on in a neutral grip position. Okay, so I'm not so loose that they start kind of separating. So we want to check our setup first. All right, so extended but not all locked up. Reduce your grip pressure, maybe it's a three out of 10, you know, just to, just to kind of start loosening. You gotta start somewhere, right? So that's the first area. The next area is just in the initial takeaway when we start bringing the club back. So some people I've seen go like this and they kind of hover their club and as they're hovering their club, kind of working it back and forth, you can tell that they're all locked up. So if you're like this, so we're getting ready to hit the ball like this. And persons like this, I've seen quite a few people do this. They hover the club and they kind of go back and forth. Okay, if that's you, you know, you don't want to do that because now you're all locked up. And like I said, if we're trying to get an effortless swing, we can't be all locked up in the early stages of the swing or, well, throughout the swing really, but in the early stages, if you're locked up, you're never going to uh, build an effortless swing. All right, so if you can, try to let the club sit on the ground and then neutral grip, arms extended. Okay, so that's the first little area, hovering the club. Next one I see, people forward pressing. All right, so if you don't know what a forward press is, people are here getting ready to go, and then they press the club forward, and then they take it back. So there's a little, and it's a way to stay in motion. I get it. You know, they press, press, and then take it back. 
But again, I see people pressing and locking. Then they yank it back. So we don't want to go back so fast that we lock up. So if you've pressed, you got to be careful to not tighten. And definitely you don't want to be snatching it back in the very beginning. All right. So forward press, got to be kind of careful also. You can press it if you want, just a very tiny bit though. A forward press is just to stay in motion. So you're not starting from a static position. So some people have a little press, okay? But it's just tiny. And then you take it back. All right, so forward press. Now, also into the takeaway. So into the very beginning of the swing, some people, you know, they're locked up when they start it back. Well, if you're already locked up here, how are you gonna relax your arms or turn your arms off by the time you get to the top of the backswing? So just do a little smoother, slower takeaway. Like I am not taking it back with my arms. I'm taking it back by turning my body. See if my body moves, my club's moving. I'm not moving my club. Okay, I'm turning my body. That's it. So that gets us to our next position <laughs> where people go like this and they break their wrists. Like that. <clears throat> okay, I've seen people like do it here. It's like, yeah, to do, see, my arms are, my arms are pulsating already. Okay, so that kind of, you know, goes hand in hand with the other one. We want to work the club back, or this letter Y, between our arms and our golf club, with our shoulders. See, shoulders. I'm just moving this letter Y. I'm not doing anything with my arms. This is just an extension from my body, right here. Okay, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm gonna move the club with my shoulders. Okay, so that would also keep the arm strength out. The next area would be, you know, maybe you've got a slowish backswing, but by the time you get to the top, you tighten up. Okay, so tightening by the time you hit the top. That would be an area to investigate also. You wanna hit the top, again, Lead arm is extended, but it's not all tight, okay? Just sense the muscles in your arms. Activated, not activated, see? Just sit there, go like this. Extend your arm and go, oh, okay, there's my arm. Now tighten, okay? Just make two fists like this, tighten it up. That is what I'm trying to get you to avoid. You get all locked up like that, there is no way on earth you are gonna build an effortless golf swing. Effortless, okay? That means we're not getting all tight and locked up. Okay, so that's a great test. Just kind of hold your arms out. That's the effort level we wanna be at the top. Your arms extended, but it's not tight. Okay, so the very top of your backswing, that would be another area. Then, of course, it would be coming down. So a lot of people are up here, you know, maybe they do work it back pretty easy and effortless. But right here, ah, they try to hammer that ball. That locks everything up. You'll end up doing a chicken wing. All right, so starting down, that would be another area. And then finally, it's just before you hit the ball. So. You know, you might have started down okay, and then right here, that's where you're trying to whack at it, okay? That's what I used to do. I always tried to help the shot. Yeah, then I turned my arms off, and it felt completely different. It felt like I wasn't hitting anything at all. And to this day, that's the feeling I have. All right, so there's a whole bunch of different areas there. What you wanna try and do is go through each of the areas and find out where are you tightening? You gotta know that and be aware of it so that you can take the arms out. Just remember, we're in no way tight just before you are about to take it back. So it's set up, my arms are extended. When I do it, my grip is two out of 10, okay? because I don't want to be all locked up. So many people are holding on so tight. They're already, 
behind the eight ball before they've even taken the golf club back. There's no way on earth, if you're locked up here, that you're going to do an effortless swing. It's just not going to happen. So you got to kind of change a few little feelings here. So right here, lighten up your grip pressure, focus on the effort level in your arms. Now, we're not going to pull the club back with our arms. Okay, right here, we're going to move the club back with our body. So we're going to start to coil our body, which moves the club. So that would be a different thought. Oh, my body coil, or let's say shoulders, are going to move my club. Because right here, if I'm here and I start to turn, see, my arms are moving. I don't need to move my arms. I need to coil my body. That's what moves your arms. All right, so we're going to keep that coil going until we hit the top. Lead arm is extended, but not all locked up. Right here, we're not pulling it down. Right here, we're not trying to whack at it. All right, so start focusing on this effort level in your arms. Try to determine where they are tightening. You do that, and like I said before, it's going to be a different feeling, okay? You just, you got to get used to it. If this feels like your other swing, then you're just doing your other swing. You got to get a new feeling. It's an effortless golf swing. You're going to feel the power in your legs and hips. That's what we're using. We're not using our arms. Our arms are just an extension from our body. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.